Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution for the lead code problem merge sorted array. So basically here we are given two sorted integer arrays nums1 and nums2 and we have to merge nums2 into nums1 as one sorted array. So nums1 has the size m and nums2 has the size n but the effective size of nums1 is m plus n because we have to merge nums2 into nums1 itself. As you can see we don't have to return anything but we have to merge the elements of nums2 into nums1. So the effective size of nums1 is m plus n but the initialized elements are m. So as you can see m is 3 so 1 2 3 is the size of nums1 and the rest of the array is empty denoted by zeros. So we'll be following a merge sort approach and in that we'll be starting from the back. So we start from the back of both the index of the last index of both the arrays and we compare and the bigger element we find to the end we add to the end of nums1 so let's get started so the index will be let's just use m minus 1 and n minus 1 so m minus 1 because if the size is m then the last element will be m minus 1 and then we'll be comparing and adding to the array nums1 so it's equal to nums1 dot length the last index of the size of nums1 starting from here minus 1 minus 1 i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus now two things will happen either will run out of elements of nums1 or will run out of element of nums2 so suppose we run out of elements of the nums2 so meaning that n is less than 0 now so that means that we've we're done with all the elements of nums2 so we've merged everything from nums2 into nums1 so we're finished our answer is there in nums1 so we simply need to return but otherwise uh, if two things will happen again if m is greater than or equal to 0 meaning that both the element array has elements so then we need to compare so m less than 0 m greater than or equal to 0 and so nums1 of m if it is greater than nums2 of n so basically we're just finding the greater element and that will add to nums1 of i so nums1 of i is equal to nums1 of m and then m minus minus like we do in merge sort so we're effectively doing merge sort only but the array we're merging the elements into is not a separate array but nums1 itself so and the rest the other thing is if m is less than 0 so meaning that we have finished with all the elements of nums1 so now the elements that we need to add are from nums2 itself so we'll directly add all the elements from nums2 so nums1 of i is equal to nums2 of n and then we go to n minus 1 and do the same thing and that's pretty much it so again what we're doing we're starting from the back we are comparing elements of nums1 and nums2 and m meaning they meaning the size of the initialized elements of nums1 and n the size of the initialized elements of nums2 we are comparing that and whichever is the greater one we add it to whichever is the greater one in nums1 we add it to nums1 of i and otherwise if we are finished with all the elements of nums1 then we add all the element of nums2 so let's just try to submit it yeah so you can see that the runtime is 0 ms which is faster than 100 percent because we managed it in o of n as you can see and earlier i used a merge sort approach but it failed so this is a better approach so that's all thank you